Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be making some corn tortillas. Now, yes, I understand a pack of corn tortillas doesn't cost anything, but honestly, a pack of maseca only costs $1.80 and you can make so many corn tortillas and it's very easy to do. So no further ado, let's get into the recipe. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ring. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. All right, to start off for our tortillas, we're gonna be needing some instant corn flour. Now, this is, this is one brand, uh, Maseca, but if you go to any Mexican grocery store or Latin grocery store, they should have some type of instant flour. Now, like I said, the brand doesn't matter. Uh, so just make sure that it's instant corn flour. You're gonna need a cup and a half of hot water or warm water. What I usually do is I just, you know, fill, measure it out and then heat it up in the microwave. Now, sometimes the measurements are not always exact, so I keep a bowl of warm water also, so that way if the dough is dry, you can add in one teaspoon of water at a time. And then once you get the right consistency, then you just knead your dough. Now you need something to be able to hold your tortillas uh, this is just a towel. We're gonna be putting them in a towel. Uh, these are gonna go quick I'm only gonna make a small batch today, you know, because I do these, you know, pretty much that day that we use them uh, If you have a tortilla warmer, which they actually sell at the stores, you can use that too But a towel works. My grandma did that for many many years. So uh, keep it simple Okay, so we're gonna measure out two cups of the instant corn flour Now we're gonna add in a half of a teaspoon of salt. Now you just wanna mix this together. You wanna get that salt incorporated into the flour so that way when we put the water in there, it's gonna be evenly distributed throughout the flour. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put our water in the microwave for about two and a half minutes. Okay, so our water is heated up. You do not want it extremely hot. You just want it, you know, a little bit more than warmer, you know, between hot and warm, you know, just enough where you can touch it. Now do keep in mind, you do need two cups of the corn flour with one and a half cups of water. Now we do have a little bit on reserve just in case the, the, the dough feels dry. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of water and mix it all together. Now this flour, this corn flour does absorb the water really fast. Okay, so as you can see, it's really, really dry. So we're gonna be going ahead and putting in the rest of this water. Now this is where we're gonna see if we're gonna be needing more water once we get this all incorporated. Now it's gonna be sticky at first, but uh, the more you need it, you're gonna be needing it for about four to five minutes. But you don't start needing it really until it starts coming all together. Now the dough at first is going to be sticky, but uh, it takes about four to five minutes to get it you know, kneaded correctly. And at that moment, you'll see that it's nice and smooth. So just keep working the dough. Like I said, it's gonna take about four to five minutes. Now once you see the dough where it's not sticking to your hands, compared to before, see how it's not as messy as it was earlier? That's showing that your, your dough is kneaded. So yeah, about four minutes is what it takes to, to knead the dough. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put this into a ball. We're gonna let this rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. We are gonna cover it with a damp, wet rag. So you're gonna take your wet rag and we're gonna just cover it. Now we're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and then once it's rested, now it's important to let it rest, that way you get a nice fluffy corn tortilla. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes, please. 15 minutes, starting now. All right. Okay, so after your dough has rested, now we're gonna go ahead and separate them into little balls. Yeah, once you get your dough all rested, 
Now you want to take your dough and, and the size of tortillas I like to make is usually about a little bit bigger than a golf ball, kind of just a big golf ball size. So uh, get your dough, smash it together and then just uh, form your ball. Now if you see the dough cracking, like it's a little dry, then that means your, your dough is actually dry. Now just keep that in mind. But uh, the end result of the dough should feel like a, you know, just like Play-Doh. Yeah, it should feel exactly like Play-Doh. Just, you know, mushy. And so just keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna just finish the rest of this dough, make out the tortillas, and then I'll show you how to cook them. Okay, so now this is a tortilla press. Now this, I only use this for corn tortillas. And you want to take like a like a Ziploc bag, and uh, as you can see, this has been used quite a bit. <laughs> it has the old corn flour on there, but uh, yeah, this is all we're going to be using. You just want to take a gallon size Ziploc bag, cut the two sides and the top off, so that way you can just put it right there to your tortilla press, and then you got the other side so that side don't stick. Now, what I like to do is I like to kind of smash down the dough just like a little, kind of just flatten it out a little bit. And then place it right there in the middle. And then we'll put it right here on top with the, the plastic. And then we'll give it a smash. Not too hard. Okay. Now you want to check it to see where you're at. Now it's a little bit smaller than what, what I like to have, but uh, this can actually make bigger tortillas. So just go ahead and smash it again, rotate it, smash it again. One more time. There we are. So that's the size of tortillas that I like right there. So really simple. You just peel off this side and then carefully peel off the other side. And that's your flour, your that's your corn tortilla right there. Now let's go ahead and start cooking these. Now on a pan heated up over medium high heat, you can use a griddle, you can use a pan, however you want to do it. Okay, we're going to take our tortilla and place it. Now we're going to let this cook for 45 seconds. And during that time you could be smashing your other tortilla. Okay, after the 45 seconds we're going to go ahead and flip. And then we're going to let this side cook for one minute. Okay, so this minute has passed, so we're going to go ahead and flip again. Now we're going to do a little trick. My grandma used to call this playing with your dough. You just want to tap the, the corn tortilla. That's going to allow it to bubble. If you have them real thick, it's not going to bubble up a, you know, a lot. These are kind of thick tortillas, but uh, it is puffing a little bit. You want that layer to separate. That's going to help get a, a nice foldable tortilla. We're going to let that cook for about 30 seconds. All right, it's been 30 seconds, so now we're going to go ahead and take them and put them in our towel. And then when your tortillas are done, you just want to put them in your paper towel and then you want to let them you know, cool down, but uh, you do want to keep it covered. Keeping it covered is going to make them nice and soft, so just go ahead and let them cool, and then when they're cooled down, they're ready to go. And when you let them rest, they're nice and soft, and see how they don't crack? You want to make sure you get that to puff. These are really good. I want to try one. So let's get into the taste test. So I made a couple of chicken tacos. Some good stuff. Let me know what you think about that recipe right there. It is very easy to do and you do not need to be spending any money at the grocery store buying corn tortillas. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button that we can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that way you can go to my website cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. I have these recipes, they're really good, you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.